Okay, welcome to this demonstration of Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android May 2025 update. And we're going to show you speaker attribution and recognition uh, on our Neat Bar Pro, Neat Center, Neat Pad, where we have audio enabled. We asked Copilot to write us a little story about Microsoft Teams meetings. And myself and Jeremy have our voices enrolled in Teams, and Steve and John do not. But we'll also show you how to do speaker identification. And let's kick off. OK, let me speak for a few seconds so that Copilot recognizes my voice or at least gets the understands it. And then it will give me the option to identify a speaker. So a couple more seconds of talking should allow it to have enough on board. And then I can I can do that. There you are. Identify speaker. Type in my name. So only Steve can identify himself. The Teams platform is secure, so I can't identify Steve on his behalf. It has to be, uh, again, this is all inside our organization in our Teams tenant, so it's all secure. So Steve can identify himself if he hasn't enrolled his voice. And this doesn't save his voice for the next meeting. It is just for this one time meeting. All right, everyone. Let's get started. Try refreshing the SharePoint link. Sometimes teams sync slowly if the document is still open in another window. You're a lifesaver. Just another day in IT support. Let's focus on what matters. Your presentation looks solid. I, I love the new layout, Steve, but maybe we could refine slide three a bit. This is why remote teamwork actually works. We can tackle problems in real time, no matter where we are. We did it and we did it together. The screen flickered with nods and smiles. As they signed off, you realized the real magic of Microsoft Teams. It wasn't just about video calls. It was about the connection. So in that overview video we recorded in the office, we were able to see a little story that Copilot made up for us. We can now come and view the recap. So the key thing that we're talking about here is obviously the power of Microsoft Copilot. Teams Premium as well, but also the audio pickup and speaker recognition quality of the neat devices. So what did we say? So we talked about, you know, having Jeremy saying the SharePoint link needs to be refreshed, etc. And I mentioned about having, uh, you know, the benefits of rem remote teamwork. So when we look at the transcript, you know, this is what I said. This is why remote teamwork actually works. We can tackle the problems in real time, no matter where we are. Now, if I bring over my co-pilot notes, it said, this is why remote teamwork actually works. So it caught my voice absolutely perfect. The whole intention of Teams Premium, speaker recognition, etc., is that you get a great AI summary. Obviously, there are a few things that you need to check. Picked up, you know, John said the green flickered when it should be the screen flickered. So it's going to be pretty close. We then have a nice AI summary of everything that was discussed. And then also we have meeting notes. So the meeting notes are showing us the, the, the key decisions, what needs to be done. Steve's going to re refine slide number three. But the beauty of this recording, A, we can watch it back at, you know, a quicker option, one and a half, two times, etc. Or we could just jump to a certain section that when Steve was talking or when speaker two was talking. So for John, he hasn't modern his voice, but he could be outside the organization. So the key here is just beautifully working with neat devices, that neat bar pro, that neat center, neat pad, all picking up your voices and trying to give you a great summary transcript. So it's your AI facilitator in your meetings. So if you want to learn more about adding Copilot, Teams Premium, and how you make your meeting room smarter, feel free to talk to us anytime. It wasn't just about video calls. It was about the connection. <laughs> it wasn't just about video calls, it was about the connection. <laughs> On that note, I'll go for a point.